This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. Which means Kamini is headed to the kitchen with Chef Gordon at Indian Hills Community College. Let's see what's on the menu this week. Good morning, guys. I'm at Indian Hills in the test kitchen one more time, and luckily Chef Gordon could join us this week. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. <laughs> also, we have Kimberly, a second term student, so thank you for joining us, too. Thank you. Yeah. No, well, we are going to, it looks like we're going to combine a couple things. I love some French toast. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put some eggnog with it. So Eggnog French toast is yeah. great stuff. And we have all these things probably laid around the house. You've got some day-old bread. Kimberly's going to help us out this morning. She's going to cook it. I'll put it together. So you've got some eggnog, you know, and you can use rum too, and you probably appreciate that. <laughs> Hair of the dog and all that. Of course. We're going to use a couple of eggs and about a cup of our beautiful eggnog. Perfect. I'm going to run over here, drop these guys off, and a fork, and you don't need any salt. You don't need any sugar. You've got all the seasonings right there. And this is really great. And French, uh, stuffed French toast is fun, too. If you've got some baguettes and you want to cut those thicker than you would normally do, this is sourdough. I like the two strong flavors of the sourdough and okay. the eggnog. And the eggnog. Okay. So basically, there's our start. I'm going to get you in and grab a big piece of this. The biggest okay. one you got. And this is great. It cooks quick. It's thin. Okay. So you don't have to, you don't have to spend a lot of time on the grill. And again, let it soak up a little bit of this. And that's why I say the day-old bread is good. Okay. It's dry, and it's going to soak up some of this. So when we come back, uh, Kimberly's going to go ahead and get her fire going, get some butter in there. Use real butter, no margarine, please, or oil. <laughs> and uh, we'll cook. He's going to put you to work. Okay. He's going to take a break. Mm -hmm. Okay. So uh, Ella, we'll send it back to you. In the meantime, well, you know what else is really good when it's cold? French toast. Yeah, with eggnog. Yeah. Let's see how their dish is coming along. Here's Kamity. Hey guys, we're back and Chef Gordon is about to put Kimberly to work and since he prepared the French toast, I guess, you are going to go ahead and start making it. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to do? Um, I'm going to kind of pan sear it a little bit in some actual butter, not margarine. Mm -hmm. And we're looking for kind of a nice crispy brown side, kind of like um, French toast everybody wants to see. Yeah. Perfect. And see this is perfect too right now because you see you've got some bubbles coming off of it. You hear, you see it starting to brown a little bit. Now you don't want to go too far south on the brown, so you can go ahead and get that in there now. Just Perfect. drip off a little bit of the excess too. Ooh, mm -hmm. nice. Great. So you hear it sizzle, you're in good shape. So how, I know Chef Gordon always tells us you kind of have to look, and I, I always ask how long should it be on, how, you know, all this, these different time things. Do you, do you think you, you know enough to, to know when it's done enough? Uh, it shouldn't be very long, probably just a couple minutes each side, depending on how high you, your heat is. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well, but we have kind of a decent heat going, so it shouldn't be that long. And with something this thin, too, it's going to do it a lot quicker than if you've got a big thick slice and you've got it stuffed with cream cheese, mm -hmm. which is a nice thing to do. <laughs> um, it's going to take you longer to do it. And normally what I'll do is I'll put a top on it, like some foil maybe, put it in the oven to finish it. But this guy, you can see the bubbles around the edge. When that starts to brown. You can already see it turning yeah. too. It starts to brown. It's a pretty good indication that you can flip it. And you know, it's really, you have to watch it. There's no recipe that you can follow per se for cooking processes. Right. You just have to be there with it. And remember, butter, not margarine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you, if you learn one thing from it. So uh, we're going to let this brown, we'll flip it, and then uh, we'll be right back. And welcome back. As you know, Camity Ray has been busy all morning long in the kitchen at Indian Hills Community College learning how to make eggnog French toast. Let's see how her dish came out. Hey, Camity. Hey, guys, we're back, and we're about to get our eggnog French toast. Mm -hmm. But first, I would like you to take a look at this little grape that... Uh, one is cleverly made into a bunny that we will also be learning how to do, which is really fun. Yeah, let me show you how to do that you real do quick. You do that first? I like the big grapes. They're easy to work with. And just cut off the back side so it sets flat. And then I cut a little pocket on an angle, <laughs> okay? And then just cut a V. And I don't know whether you can see this with the camera because of the darkness of the table. But just cut a V out of that. I mean, it's super simple. And the holidays and the kids are around, right? And you got a little bunny rabbit you can so set up creative. on your... Something simple to do, play with your food. I think that's an important piece. So yeah. I think that French yeah. toast is good French to go. French toast over. And you've got Thank some really you. nice caramelization on that too. Okay. Ooh, Super. It smells really good too. Now you're going to go ahead and hit it with some powdered sugar. And I like to use marmalade or jam. 
And this is a nice strawberry jam that we picked up from Hy-Vee this morning. And I think to me, you know, you've got sweet already in the bread and uh, just a little bit of uh, sweet from the strawberries, a nice contrast. So okay. you need to try that, make yeah. sure it's okay. Just go ahead and use that spoon. This right spoon? Mm -hmm. Get your little jam. Yep. Kimberly is the best part. Get to taste everything, so. Trust me, I know. I was gonna say, is that later, I'm sure. You have a lot of friends when you when you can cook well. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So some bacon or some ham sausage, and again, you've got all these things at the house around the holidays, and don't worry about eating a little bit more than you normally do at the holidays, because January's coming and you'll be on a diet again, right? Right, well, resolution. Yeah, resolution. well, you don't have to worry about it. You no, know, huh? you're sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Really right now. Do you know how to make these bunnies? Um, I haven't tried it, but it shouldn't be that hard. She did now. She knows how now. Yeah. I'm she sure. saw it. She can repeat. <laughs> She's an excellent student, and again, these young people that come in here to the program, and Kimberly in particular, she's a fantastic kid. I mean, she's really excited about being here, and I love being surrounded by young people that want to cook. That's so nice. What do you have to say about that? Thank you, Chef. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's great. Good way to start your day, right? Okay, well, we'll have uh, more information of this, um, how to make this on our website, so make sure to check that out. But for now, Ella, we'll send it back to you.